Hello and welcome back to Roommates. Right, anyone who's seen the entire rest of this Let's Play knows that I played through the entire game and because of something I missed near the beginning, I completely failed to hit the actual Isabella Romance track. Which annoyed me. And it probably annoyed you as well because, well, given that my current most popular video is the one from Loren the Amazon Princess with the actual lesbian scene in it. Yeah, sorry about that. So, last night I speed ran this game. It took me about half an hour. Because if you press and hold the space bar, it speeds through at a spectacular speed. Um, and tweaked all the things so that I could actually hit the romance track. And I did. Which means I've now unlocked these scenes and I'm now going to go through them for you because, well, I'm assuming you'll enjoy them. So, here we go. This is the spring break scene and then we'll be doing the finale. I'm glad I found this spot. Nice and private. Definitely. This has been such a great week. I've been really happy being out here with you all. Isabella chuckles, but doesn't say anything. Say, can I ask you something? Of course. What do you, um, look for in a girl? Isabella looks me up and down, smiling. I don't know. What have you got? Isabella? I was being serious. <laughs> so was I. What do I look for in a girl? I guess the same things I look for in a guy. That's one of the things about being pansexual. Gender doesn't really matter to me. I like the personalities I like. Everyone on the gender spectrum does things their own way. They each have their own delicious quirks. But the traits that make a good lover and partner can be pretty universal. I nod as I take that in, looking Isabella over. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Can you get my back for me? I can never get it very well on my own. Isabella rolls onto her back after handing me her suntan lotion. I splash them on my hands while I let my eyes roam over her curves. As I begin to rub lotion into her back, Isabella lets out a small, satisfied sigh. Her skin is so smooth and soft. I hate to admit it, but I almost forgot I'm supposed to be rubbing lotion in and get lost in just exploring her back with my hands. I almost let my hands stray down to her waistline and stop myself at the last moment. Finally, I have to admit I'm done and move away from Isabella. She sits back up and gives me an appreciative grin. Mmm, perfect. Oh, you probably want some sunscreen here. Isabella holds a different bottle out at me. I look at the bottle and back up to Isabella's face. She looks gorgeous and I spread out on her side, glowing next to warm sand. Oh, did you already put some on? I try my best not to blush. I don't know what's stirring inside me, but somehow I feel like something I have to pursue. I was... I was hoping you could put it on for me. Isabella's eyebrows go up in surprise for a moment, but then her eyes lift... Well, then her eyes... Well, then her eyelids languidly, and her smile changes a bit. Aha! Uh -huh. Giving yourself up to my insidious wiles, are you? I shake my head, but look her in the eyes. You're just... You're so beautiful, Isabella, and bold and outgoing. You never change the world to do what it wants with you. You're always in charge. It's just... You impress me so much. And when you say you like me too, it makes my heart flutter. It makes me happy in a way I didn't think it would. Isabella puts her hand against my lips quietly. I'm being honest when I say it. You're amazingly beautiful, and in a lot of ways. But you're also sincere and genuinely giving. You're probably the kindest person I've ever met. I know being with a woman isn't something you necessarily saw for yourself, but if you decide you want to take this path, I'll be happy to walk down that road with you. Isabella runs her hand from my mouth to gently cut my cheek. She looks into my eyes, her face coming closer. I... I want that, Isabella. Maybe I've always wanted that, but I know I want it now. I lean forward, with my eyes closed and my mouth pursed. A few moments later, I feel Isabella's lips pressed into my own. The kiss is surprisingly gentle and restrained. I sigh happily as Isabella pulls my head to her chest, gently kissing my head all over. I scoot up to kiss her lips again. I... I don't know how much about this. I mean, not, not just with a woman. I, I mean, it's only been the... 
or just in general. Isabella chuckles and kisses my cheek, making her way to lick my ear gently, wrapping her arms tenderly around me. Oh, Anne, you of all people should understand what it means to be a quick study. I can't help but laugh as she gently lays me back onto the blanket. I wrap my arms around her as she kisses my cheeks and my lips and my eyes. Her kisses are tender and searching. Soon her lips have found my neck. She nibbles a little and it sends a thrill through me. I let a small moan escape my lips. Isabella's hands are all over, touching me everywhere, my arms, my hips, my chest, my legs, just exploring. As Isabella's lips begin to explore where her hands have been before, I close my eyes and just let the feelings overcome me. I reach out a hand, and Isabella's hand grabs it. Connected, I sigh and moan, and very much forget to study. Thirty minutes later, I'm about, as I'm about as exhausted as I've felt in a long while. I smile down at Isabella, who sleekly gets back into our hands and knees and comes to give me a kiss. I can't believe I did that, and that it... or that it... I can barely speak. Isabella just laughs at me. Mm. Oh yes, I will definitely have fun teaching you. Such a good student. And on a beach, no less. Someone could have seen. The enormity of what just happened starts to hit me, and I almost feel like I could panic. But Isabella just holds me tightly in her arms, and I calm down. Th Thank you, Isabella. Of course. I know this has been confusing for you, but I've meant what I've said. You're an amazing person, Anne. I'm so glad I broke up with that asshole before this trip. And I'm so grateful you've stuck with me through all that. But I'm going to be with you, who I want again. And I want to be with you. And I want to be with you, Isabella. Probably more than I've wanted most things. Is that weird? No? No, I don't think it is. <laughs> Isabella and I lie there, her arms around me protectively. Me hugging her gently. It's sweet and comforting and feels so right. So that was the spring break scene, and now for the a big finale scene. Oh, damn girl, you do know how to give a show. Ah! I whip around, hurling my soap at the voice. Isabella dodges easily, laughing as she pushes aside the curtain and steps into the shower. Sorry, hunt. Can't help myself watching that incredible body. Finally coming down from my fright, I notice that Isabella is naked too. I didn't know you were home. Well, that just makes it all the more fun for me to watch. Don't be creepy. Oh, sorry, baby. Come here. Let me make it up to you. Isabella stands under the water with me, snaking an arm around my waist. I'm sorry I scared you. I'll admit, you're adorable when you get that frightened deer look about you. I blush a bit as I look up into Isabella's face. Sometimes I still can't believe that this incredible, beautiful, lusty lady picked me to be with. She can have a pick of any woman or man on campus, and she chose me. I'm so happy she did though. Isabella fills a hole in my heart I didn't know I had. As Isabella's face closes on mine, I press my lips into hers. I don't know what kind of journey this wild woman's going to take me on, but I do know there's nobody else I'd rather take the journey with. So yes, those, blah, those, those were the two Isabella bits from the romance track, which I failed to get in the main game. I hope you have enjoyed them, and I will say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in future Let's Plays.